What's going on guys? Yes, I meant to begin this video showing you uh, me opening GUVC view through my open box menu. I, I wanted to show you a little bit of my desktop, uh, mainly because my desktop is the subject of today's video. I have been running the LTS version of Ubuntu on this particular machine, my main work machine here at home, uh, for at least four years. I know I installed 1404 LTS on this machine and then when 1604 came out I upgraded from 1404 to 1604 and I had always assumed I would just move on to 1804 when it came out uh, just because Ubuntu the long-term support release is stable you know that's all this machine is about is being stable I don't want any breakages on it I don't want any downtime uh, just you know for the purposes of this channel you know making these videos you know any kind of downtime will cause the channel to suffer but also outside of this channel the work I do on this machine you know I don't want any you know major breakages so I've always stuck with the Ubuntu LTS or Debian Stable on my main machines now I'll put whatever you know on other machines I own I own a couple of laptops I have uh, several older desktops that I also occasionally test things out in but on my main machine the one I really live in uh, at least for the past four years this machine nothing has touched it except the Ubuntu LTS release so what I was thinking since I've reviewed so many distros in the last couple of months is you know what I should live in a different distro on my main machine the machine I spend 90 to 95 percent of my time in just live in a completely different world for a little while on this machine so on January 1st on or about January 1st at the the new year I plan on wiping this machine out and doing a completely new Linux distro install uh, not Ubuntu and probably not Ubuntu based let's go in a different direction and I wanted uh, your guys input on that so I prefer stable distros for this machine, but I'm not entirely ruling out installing a rolling release distro on this machine. Uh, I actually think that would be kind of interesting, mainly for the purposes of this channel. You know, if I have any bumps in the road or any minor breakages along the way, uh, you know, I'll document them, make videos about them. Uh, so I'm not completely ruling out installing rolling release distro on this machine. Uh, one thing we need to consider is desktop environments. Uh, what desktop environment do I prefer? Because that will affect what distro goes on this machine. Uh, I'm not a desktop environment snob, you know. I can live in any desktop environment out there. I can get work done in anything. So uh, pretty much anything goes, but uh, I will say there are a couple of desktop environments out there that I really just don't like using. Uh, I, I, they're just not fun to use. I've never liked the GNOME 3 desktop from the beginning. It just doesn't fit my workflow and also the GNOME 3 desktop for some reason is you know very high on CPU and memory usage. Uh, it, it really seems to be the worst one of the bunch among you know like KDE and Cinnamon and Unity and all those desktops. Uh, GNOME 3 I'm just gonna rule that one out for sure and I mentioned Cinnamon too. I don't really like the Cinnamon desktop. I mean, it's it's an okay desktop, but it's an old school, traditional kind of paradigm desktop. You know that old Windows kind of feel to it. But if I was going to go that route, you know, I would go with something like Mate or XFCE or LXDE or LXQT or any of those. You know, lightweight, minimal desktops. The Cinnamon desktop, you know, uses a little bit too much CPU and memory for what it is, and it has a uh, almost an unfinished look to it. It almost feels like the Cinnamon developers just have, have never got around to finishing that desktop and it's several years old now. So I'm going to rule out running the GNOME 3 and the Cinnamon desktop environments but uh, really regardless of what distro install, I install, what desktop environment comes on it by default, I always end up installing OpenBox on every machine I install. So what kind of distros or family of distros are my am I most comfortable in? Well, I already mentioned Debian-based systems and 
Ubuntu-based systems, which are also based on Debian. You know, I'm, I'm comfortable living in that Debian world, but I'm also pretty comfortable in Arch and Arch-based uh, distros. I, I'm really comfortable in Arch, so I don't mind anything based on Arch. And in the past few years, I haven't uh, lived in anything Gen 2 based on my main machine, but I, I, I run them a lot in virtual machines. Uh, even before doing this channel, I've spent a lot of time with, with Gen 2 based uh, distros. I like to review them, you know, I, I, and I really have enjoyed the time I've spent in Gen 2, so I don't mind potentially living in Gen 2 or a Gen 2 based distro for a little while. I've never lived in any of the RPM distros on any of my machines, so I've never been a Fedora user or never been an OpenSUSE user, although I, I, I was impressed with the uh, review I did on OpenSUSE recently. Or, uh, you know, with some of the other ones out there, uh, Magia, uh, PC Linux uh, OS, you know, I reviewed recently. I, that, that wasn't bad either. Uh, I will say some of the distros that you know, like immediately come to mind that I've reviewed here recently that impressed me the most that I, I'm i strongly considering putting on this machine. I mentioned Debian based distros. Seduction, Antix, and MX Linux, all three impressed the hell out of me. Particularly uh, Antix, which I reviewed recently. I really liked Antix. And being an open box user, you know, it comes installed with ice window manager and fluxbox and jwm uh, i could quickly you know apt install open box on it too and it, it makes sense for antics and, and antics had the advantage of you have the option of doing stable testing or unstable on it so i don't have to worry about do i want to go stable do i want to do unstable antics i have options uh, in the arch base world, I really like Manjaro. When I reviewed it, I reviewed the Manjaro KDE edition. And I've never lived in the KDE desktop environment, but the Plasma 5 desktop uh, is really good. I've, I've been really impressed with KDE, and I wouldn't mind living in KDE or in Manjaro for that matter. I, I also recently reviewed uh, Antergos, and, and it wasn't bad. Arch Labs, another Arch based distro that uses the open box window manager by default. Really loved Arch Labs. Might consider that. Uh, Gen 2 based distros that I would consider running. Sabion. Sabion, my uh, review of Sabion was not a positive one, but it was mainly because I installed a really old ISO of Sabion's minimal edition that was a real pain to install. But that was you know more of my fault than Sabion it's yeah as a distro's fault uh, Sabion is a really great distro uh, and I wouldn't mind running Sabion living in Sabion I'm not sure what desktop environment I would probably just do a minimal install and install open box on it calculate Linux was another one uh, Gen 2 based that I was really impressed with uh, it was probably one of the best desktop Linux distros based on Gen 2 I've seen I mentioned OpenSUSE you know, maybe running the Tumbleweed OpenSUSE, which is the rolling release OpenSUSE. Mm, maybe. And recently I reviewed Solus. I was really impressed with Solus, and I love the budgie desktop environment. You know, it's based on GNOME, but it is GNOME, you know, done right. So, those are some of the ones I'm considering. If you guys have any suggestions, uh, anything, you know, maybe you've got some input. I'm all ears. So what do you think I should do uh, on January 1st? I'm going to wipe out Ubuntu LTS on my main machine here, and then I'm going to install something else. Peace, guys.